Hello and welcome to a series of tutorials on version two of NFTX. In this one, we're going to go through and have a look at the end to end process, starting off with uh, buying a token on version one, and we're going to redeem a NFT back from that vault, and then we're going to move it into a V2 vault. We're then going to provide liquidity against that token, and then we're going to stake our liquidity on the app as well. Uh, all of this documentation is going to be available and these tutorials on docs.nftx. There is a V2 in here. If you want to go back and have a look at the old docs, you can still get back and view V1. But all of the new docs are going to be here on V2. And there will be written tutorials on minting, redeeming, staking, vault creation, and anything else that you might need to know as well. If you have any questions, be sure to go into our Discord channel as well and check it out and ask one of the team members. Um, you can skip through this. There'll be some links to jump to certain parts of this process. If you've already got uh, through or you already own a token, you can jump ahead, but we'll get started uh, now. So we're going to start off with getting a Avastar. So we're going to look at moving Avastar basic across to the new Avastar vault. And to start with, I need an Avastar token. If I come back here and go to our app, by default, the app link takes you through to V1, uh, not the V2. So at the moment, it's still V1. And if I go to redeem, I can't redeem anything. I've only got some twerkies left. So I need to pick up some Avastar basic to get an Avastar out of this vault. So I'm going to come across to the Avastar Basic gallery page where we can see the different Avastars that are in there. And I'm going to say swap on Sushi. Now this will open up uh, a Sushi pool and I want one Avastar Basic because you can always redeem a single NFT from a vault with one V token. So one Avastar Basic is going to cost me 0.045. I'm going to say swap and confirm swap. See, so I'm turning uh, ETH so into uh, the token. So the whole thing's going to cost me 0 0.058, including gas. I'm just going to go for a fast gas. Okay, now that transaction has gone through, I should now have one Avastar basic token. So if we close this down and come back over to our app and refresh, and I should be able to come into our redeem page and I can see now that I have one basic Avastar here. Now, if you have Avastar tokens, there's no rush to go and withdraw them and migrate over to V2. Um, you can do so at your own pace, um, but this is just a tutorial to show you how you can do that if you want to move across. So first thing that we want to do is we want to redeem an Avastar from the vault. So I say uh, one because I have a balance of one. We can say uh, max and one will go in there. Uh, now I've already approved this previously. Now if you haven't approved the contract previously, you will need to do an approval first, which will be a small gas fee, and then you will be able to redeem. Um, you need one full token to redeem uh, an NFT. If you have 10 tokens, you can redeem all 10 at once, but you can only redeem the number that you have. Uh, if you have fractions of a token, like I have here with Turkey Pepe, if I say max, I cannot I have a minimum of one, or I need to put one in there. And if I don't have enough, I will need to go back to Sushi, and I will need to buy enough tokens to get myself to one. So we've chosen one for the Avastar Basic, and we are just going to say redeem. Again, I'm going to go in and switch to the faster gas. And we're going to confirm that transaction to retrieve one random Avastar Basic NFT from the vault. This is essentially burning our old V1 token and then getting an NFT back so that we can deposit that new NFT from the vault into the v2 vault for avastars okay then so now we have successfully redeemed an avastar basic i can say okay uh, if i was to come across to mint now this and i could mint i could go to our basic vault 
uh, and it looks like this one's taking a while to load, so it's probably this one is the one that I have recently redeemed. Now, you do not want to mint this back into the Avastar Basic Vault. We are still on V1 here, so you will just be putting uh, it back in where you don't really want to do that. Um, so this is our new one. Uh, so what we want to do from here is to move across to V2. Now, the V2 app is going to uh, end up on app .nftx.org and we are going to eventually be on v1.nftx.org for the older vaults but for now we're slowly rolling it out so you can go to v2.nftx.org to see uh, version 2. Now here we have a warning saying that it is in beta so please use uh, for caution and if you want v1 you can click here to go back. Now, when we come here to this screen, we can see these are my mintable vaults. So these are the vaults that currently exist that I have the NFTs for in my wallet and I can mint into them. So you can see here, I've got uh, a card. I've got three masks I can uh, mint into uh, and there's 19 in there in total. Uh, I have two bunnies I can mint in and there's four in the vault supply. I can mint in one card and there's 21 in there. Um, and here I have seven Avastars I can mint in, and there's only one in there at the moment. Underneath them are all the other vaults that currently exist. Um, so we have Mebits, so there's 35 in there, there's 170 Bigans, there's some Pickles in there, uh, and this will slowly grow out as more people create more vaults. We can get into, uh, as a separate thing, redeeming um, and managing and explore. Uh, we have a manage vault where we go through and create a vault and a separate tutorial, which you can see a link to, uh, but we will be getting into staking. But for now, what we want to do is we want to move our new Avastar that we have just minted from the V1 vault, and we want to put that and get a V2 token. So this is our Avastar token, our Avastar vault, so we can go to the vault and we can see the list of the Avastars that are sitting within my wallet. Now, the one that we have recently minted in, I want to make sure. Now, just a reminder, this is a floor vault. The idea specifically for Avastars is that Avastar rank 30 and basic are going to be combined into a single vault because the price is very, very similar between the two. This uh, Avastar here and this Avastar here, they are both rank uh, over 60. So I think this is 60 and this is 76. I can still mint this into the basic vault, but I wouldn't want to because it is a higher valued NFT. So you should only uh, mint in your low valuable NFTs. And once you mint them into the vault, anyone can claim them back. So you don't, uh, you can't go back and claim your own. You can with targeted redeem, but someone else can claim it before you. It doesn't belong to you anymore. It belongs to the vault. So we are going to choose to mint in uh, the Avastar. If you want to mint all of them in at once, you can select them all, and we have them all selected there. Uh, but we're just going to choose a single Avastar, which is the one that I pulled from the V1 vault originally. Now over here, we see our mint basket. You can see initially the mint fee is at 0%. By default, when you create a vault, the mint fee is 1%. So when you mint a token, uh, when you mint an NFT in, you will only get 0.99 tokens back, not one whole token. During the migration process, we've set the mint fees to 0% to encourage people to move from V1 across to V2. Once that has reached a certain point and staking and fees uh, distribution has been enabled, which should be around the end of July, this mint fee will turn to 1%. And after that, you will only get 0.99 back. For now, you will receive one Avastar when you mint back in. So we're going to select this one Avastar and we're going to mint the Avastar in. Again, there is some uh, gas fees and we'll just make it a fast gas and confirm. Once that is completed, we have the option now here of adding Avastar to our wallet. So generally new tokens don't appear in your uh, Avastar wallet immediately. So we can make sure that we drop these in. I'm gonna add this anyway. That has now been uh, dropped in. 
Uh, so I now have one Avastar token and I've moved across. You will see if I come to redeem, I now have the option of coming in and grabbing a uh, an Avastar from this vault. If I come to this vault, you can see there's one in there. There should be two in there now. If I refresh this, there we go. So I've got two in there. These are both ones that I've put in there. Uh, the first time I put it in, there was a 1% fee while I was trialing it, uh, which is why I have 1.99 Avastar instead of two Avastars. Um, so if I wanted to redeem, I could come in and choose a regular redeem, which would be a, um, I could say, just redeem one, and that would randomly pick one from the vault. Alternatively, I can choose one specifically, and that will have a 5% uh, fee on it. So you can see it's 1.05 to target, redeem an NFT from any vault. Uh, those redeem fees are in there from the start, and they won't change. Um, when you create a new vault, you can set those redeem fees yourself. We recommend keeping it to the default, which is 5%. So now that we have that, our next step that you would want to do, the reason one of the reasons why you want to put them in there is to earn fees on the uh, transactions. And for that, what we want to do is we want to um, provide liquidity against the Avastar tokens. So now we're going to head over and create uh, a liquidity pool. Before we go and add liquidity uh, using the tokens that we've got for minting in, I just wanted to point out that in a future release, you will be able to add liquidity straight after you've minted your NFTs in. So there'll be a button there to allow you to go and add uh, liquidity immediately. And then in another release uh, shortly after that, we'll provide a zap to allow you to mint in and provide liquidity in one step. Doing this is going to bypass the regular 1% mint fee because we're trying to encourage uh, people to provide liquidity for the vaults. For now though, uh, the way that you can go and add liquidity to a vault using the tokens that you have just minted, you can come across to the staking page. If you then scroll down and find the Avastar uh, item here, then we can click on the add liquidity button to add more liquidity to the pool. So here we come through, now we wanna to go to uh, the liquidity and what we're doing is we are adding uh, ETH and Avastar. So we have one Avastar in our, um, in our collection that we did have uh, 1.99, but I used 0.99 of that to set this pool up. So I now only have one Avastar token left. So that's what we're going to be using to put in some more liquidity. So I'm going to say one. Now the price, the floor price for basic Avastars at the moment is 0 0.0555. So that's what we've set the price for. Uh, whoever sets the pool up to begin with is the one who dictates that price. So we happen to dictate the price in this sense, but if you're setting up your own vault uh, or if you're setting up your own pool for the first time, you will confirm what the price is going to be. So here we're gonna add some liquidity to this pool using our Avastar token and the ETH required. We then have to confirm the supply and I will get back this many pool tokens from that and I'll have a 50% share of the pool sharing with myself. Um, there is also a gas fee that you need to pay as well, which is cheap. If you are the first one setting the pool up, that gas fee is more expensive because there's more transactions that are needed to create the pool initially. Everyone adding liquidity afterwards, it won't be as expensive. Uh, this isn't true for any of the DAO-owned vaults, uh, but for anything that uh, a community is setting up or you're setting up, it is a higher gas fee when you first set up the pool. So that transaction has gone through now and you can see that I now have uh, 0.469 pool tokens. Uh, that's my 11 uh, pooled ETH, which is the 0 0.055 for each of the uh, liquidity bits that I've gone through. Uh, I have 100% of the pool and uh, that is my pooled Avastar tokens. Now when you set the pool up, Sushi does take like 0.00001 uh, Avastars from it. 
um, which is why it's not 1.99, but it's 1.989999. Uh, but that happens when you set the pool up as well as paying the extra gas to begin with. So now that we have uh, added the liquidity using our Avastar tokens, we can come back to our staking page. I'm just going to hit refresh and come back to Avastar ETH SLP. Now I can say I want to stake my Avastar ETH SLP to start earning Avastar tokens. And I'm going to choose my max, which is the equivalent of the tokens that I have, and then select approve SLP. Uh, pay a little bit of gas to confirm. Now that I have approved my uh, SLP to be deposited, I can deposit the SLP. So depositing that, uh, we'll choose fast gas because it's super low and confirm. You can see here that the staking rewards are currently not active. You can read more about it, which explains in detail in LP staking capture protocol fees on our blog post with some details about when that will be turned on and how you can be notified. But the best thing is to set it up now so that you've got it ready and that way when the fees are enabled, you will start earning immediately. Now that it is finished, you can see uh, we've got my pools here. So the more liquidity you provide and staking your tokens, uh, the more of the pools that will appear at the top here and it will let you know how many Avastar you have earned, how many is claimable, uh, your staked share and your share in the pool as well as the APY as well. So that wraps up the process of moving from V1 with the existing tokens all the way across to staking your tokens in uh, providing liquidity and earning fees in V2. If you have any questions, please jump onto the Discord or shoot us an email at help at nftx.org. Uh, but the Discord is a great place to ask from the community some help uh, and see how other people are using the new platform as well.